Is this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, or wherever Aries energy influences your natal chart because this is an intuitive oracle card reading. It is not a horoscope. If it doesn't fit, don't squeeze it. There's always an extended reading if you care to join me um, with full tarot card spread. It articulates, it expands upon, and personalizes the reading we start off with on YouTube. So that link is below. And it also includes a romance reading as well. So Aries, let's get right into it. Remember, um, I don't, I don't, I don't date. I don't date any of uh, my videos anymore because I've learned that it doesn't really matter. <laughs> but Aries, if you want the videos hot off the press, I upload a new Aries video every single week. So please click subscribe, help the channel grow, and ring that bell so that you get notified when the new Aries video pops up. Crowning your energy are make your dreams real and sing your own song. Feeling like a caged bird, feeling caged in, feeling um, feeling uh, restricted, restrained, walking in a spider web, leave a message. If uh, walking in a spider web, leave a message and I'll call you back. A, a kind of a mentality of trying to find a reason to sing when you feel completely uh, claustrophobic. A sense of being controlled or manipulated or having somebody be pulling your strings and trying to find a silver lining, trying to find a reason to um, be happy in the midst of a very complex and um, um, sort of, I was going to say disarming. Yeah, like disarming. It, 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 well, disarming is a good term though. Um, in the midst of a situation that feels contrived and manipulated, it's almost like you're still trying to hold and maintain your own sense of self and your own individuality but you feel like if you take the wrong step if you step a toe out of line then you're going to shake uh the chains and rattle things and like incur consequences because of it it's a really like um it's a really uh difficult situation or predicament and this is the energy that's crowning your reading so you feel stuck you feel caged in and you feel trapped uh let's look what else comes out for you this is the energy crowning your reading Ooh. you're either afraid that it's it's almost like you're afraid that being yourself is what's going to get you into trouble you're in a circumstance or situation where you you're not allowed to be yourself out loud and yet you want to be even louder because of it there's a natural combatant in you aries so there's a a want to ch uh to challenge things or to initiate change and yet it seems like all the strings are attached and it's very very difficult to uh not shake them but simultaneously it's like um how do you how do you like it's almost like you're singing to distract it's like you're singing to shake the chains and rattle them and so the vibrations are always around you and so that you can take over the control of the vibrations interesting it could very well be you trying to pull the strings yourself um being um but this is more you trying to stay hopeful in a very manipulated situation let's see what else comes out for you aries um Nothing is wasted. A sense of trying to find treasure in a trash heap. Nine, something is coming to a head. Something is being realized. You're finally realizing, maybe because of the predicament you're in, what it's helping you to do is cut away all the fat and figure out which things don't matter and which things do. So this uncomfortable situation is purposeful. It's purposeful because it's letting you see what you need or what you don't need, what's true and what's not true. And like sort of qualities and different sort of personalities of other people coming out so that you can acknowledge what they really are or who they really are a sense of the truth rattling the valuable up to the top while all the garbage and sediment settles to the bottom um life is a mystery but it's upside down so a mask is coming off a sense of uh, divine timing is the number eight so it's almost like this, this shaking and the quaking or the vibrations, almost like maybe you, 
metaphorically stomping the ground, um, shaking things loose with your voice, with your sense of self is bringing masks down or taking the masks off. And maybe you're taking your mask off. Maybe you're not playing games anymore or hiding who you really are. This is a sense of, you know, throwing down the gauntlet in order to make the challenge and, and demand quality or demand a certain level of um, happiness out of this situation. It's also a sense of, once again, things being revealed for what they really are so that you can make an honest decision as opposed to a decision based on, um, you know, hopefulness or, um, um, oh, I'm losing words. I lose words every day now. It's kind of scary. Um, pretenses. Mm hmm Open to infinite possibility. Nine plus five equals 14. One plus four is five. So this is the energy of five. Change. Aquarius. There's a huge change here as we shift toward more Aquarian energy. Um, Aquarian energy in terms of Saturn, which rules 3D karma. Um, but this is Aquarian en energy. Truth. Truth being revealed. Truth coming out. Um, but also wishes coming true. So this fate and this destiny and this uncomfortable trapped in situation it's almost like it was put to you for a reason in order to bring out your sun your your star your shine in order to bring out your inner glow um in order to make you expand and broaden your mind so that you see possibilities where you didn't see them and that's what this is it's like seeing possibilities and potential where you once thought there was no possibility at all Central energy is trust in the great mystery. The energy of six plus five is 11. Awakening to faith, awakening to spiritual guidance, awakening to spiritual insight, and just essentially throwing yourself into the wind and say, I'm going to land, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to fly or I'm going to fall, but just letting yourself go. And you're falling into your intuition. You're falling into a sense of like diving in deep, going underneath, maybe even exploring the depths of who you are to find out just what you're capable of. Um, truth transcends illusion. This is more Aquarian energy. So more truth, more illumination, more enlightenment that is grounding you because this is the energy of 22, which is four. So um, this sense of being really grounded in um, being grounded to become bigger. Uh, being very sure of yourself, being very sure of the facts or the truth, um, even though um, you're not even asking anybody else's permission. You're figuring things out yourself, you're deciding things for yourself, and you're rising above all the conflict and all the chaos. You're transitioning into something that is much more agile, that can fly instead of crawl, that can fly and move fast in every different which way. Dragonfly is such an exceptional creature, beautiful, transcendent creature, a, tra a, tra a transformational energy. Um, this is you becoming much more um, sort of flexible and capable. You're earning your wings. Give with gratitude and grace. The energy of six plus one is seven. So giving your whole self, putting your whole self in. Um, it's almost like judging people or seeing the true quality of somebody based on how much they're willing to help others. Because um, um, this is very philanthropic energy of giving everything that you have to help other people. So this could be you, or this could be somebody in your life that you're qualifying or deciding, are they good? Are they bad? Is it right? Is it wrong? It's also figuring out the distribution of goods. It's also uh, having your keen eye set on well, how things are being allocated or, you know, how things are being divvied up or um, um, who's giving and who's receiving that kind of energy. Interesting. Uh, clear out the clutter. Once again, finding treasure, treasure in the trash heap requires this energy. Eight plus two is the energy of 10. So something is coming to a head and then something's coming to um, an end, uh, completion. And all of this, like all of that coming to a head and then qualifying things and then the mask of things, like maybe even the dust that covered something is clearing away so you can see it for what it's worth. You're getting rid of a lot of stuff. You may be literally doing your spring cleaning or clearing out a lot of, a lot of BS, but this is also emotional because this is Cancerian energy. 
but it's a uh, matured Cancerian energy, maturing Cancerian energy where they're no longer a tadpole just influenced by their emotion. They have legs and they can jump as a true tidal creature between um, the land and the sea. So this is the land and the pond or whatever he, the frog lives, a sense of having grown up enough to be able to decide what to hold on to and what to let go of. And Aries, at this point, you're ready to let go. Grounding your energy is dream the world into being. Yeah, haunted by the past, but looking at the future, but being very clear, what are those skeletons? What, are, what am I haunted by? What am I afraid of? Almost confronting your demons in a way, um, or confronting the demons that are around you, taking the skeletons out of the closet and uh, exposing them to the air and letting them disintegrate. A sense of prioritizing what is going to be happening in the future as opposed to what was in the past or what was scaring you. Like what's what's the fear? What's the fear? You're actually questioning fear itself. Why am I afraid? What am I so scared of? Or what's the fear in general? It's almost like you're objectively able to sit back and look at fear and question why. Why are we afraid and what is this fear about? Um, energy of eight plus three, that's um, 11, awakening. Awakening to maybe some hard truths, some things that are a little bit toxic, realizing the toxicity that's been sort of infecting and poisoning your life. Tend to the small things, something has been growing steadily. You've let, allowed something to build up because you didn't want it to be a problem. But in doing that, it continued to build up in your walls and now you have a huge infestation. This is a sense of things piling up little by little over the years, but now you're recognizing it. You're recognizing the creature crawling in the walls. You're recognizing it. You're realizing that you have to do something about it. It's just what method are you going to take? Um, a rebirth is assured. I like this energy because um, bats, um, bats are they're transcendent. They're like the, that creature that can navigate the, the dark and they can hear through sonar. And they're also a creature that represents transformation as well. You can think of this as coming out of the dark. Um, so what have you? And you have two energies of eleven on the table. So what have you? What have you just been enlightened to it with? What have you just woken up to? Because this is a sense, Aries, of you moving on, of you deciding that even if some things are still fun or things are comfortable, especially because you've realized how to navigate discomfort, now you're capable of accepting discomfort and understanding its importance in your transcendence and being all of yourself. Um, completing your life's mission as opposed like moving on and progressing instead of holding on to what's safe and what's comfortable you could be moving you could be getting rid of a house you could be remodeling your house tearing down a house or literally um, um, just changing your body in some way too, getting rid of the toxins and toxicity in your body as well um, or this is in terms of a relationship it's built up it's it's been around for a while it's been around maybe for too long or all the things that were congesting it and clogging it up you're now airing out and 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 looking at it honestly and saying okay do I need this do I really need this do I need this in my life? Do I need this whole relationship in my life? That's the kind of thing. This is major. This is spiritual and emotional spring cleaning. Um, love is all around. And then transformation is beautiful. Your last two cards. So there's been a change in your relationship with love. There's also been in maybe opportunity for more intensive communication, which is part of your clearing and part of your cleansing, a sense of speaking directly one-on-one -on -one to each other, actually being able to talk or communicate is helping to clear the air and help to transform things, get you out of that cloistered state of the cocoon and allow you to expand two different energies of now you're flying and the wings have, have sprouted. Now you have much more capabilities and far-reaching, um, far-reaching, um, far-reaching potential. Um, this is, of course, the energy of 11 because that's directly 11. Sort of awakening to the sound of somebody else's voice, awakening to the sound of um, their point of view or their perspective. This doesn't have to be a loved one. It could just be being able to finally listen to others and what they have to say and not only listening to them, but believing them. Let me flip the camera around so you can re I'll review the cards with you. So these two cards came out together.
And this is a sense of being stuck, you know, of a sense of, of like being in a cage bird, like a bird that's in a cage or a bird that's in a trap, um, trying to make itself happy um, when it knows it's in captivity. Um, so how does that translate to you? The crowning energy of trying to find something positive, trying to find a way out and try continuing, excuse me, to have faith. When you're in this predicament of feeling really manipulated and controlled, also um, trying to find the correct vibration to break the chains. And this is all the energy of like how you're doing it, like putting your grunt, putting yourself to work, literally putting yourself in an uncomfortable situation so that you can uncover some facts or truths. Um, diving in deep, you may be doing some research, you may be doing some like one on one discovery, you may be doing some health, self healing. You also, um, um, just maybe accepting some things that you were not able to accept before and it's 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 all folding into divine timing because this is the energy of six plus five you have another 11 here there's all this energy of 11 swimming around here eight um, um which tells me that you're awakening to um uh, something that you didn't see before or a realization. I feel like there's a level of comfort that's coming over you, uh, an ability to be happy where you couldn't be happy before. Um, also an ability to see what's really um, nurturing you and what's really not nurturing you. But then there's this essence of also then communicating it to a wider audience, communicating with somebody else, which is what's awakening you or finally listening to words from somebody who uh, maybe you didn't listen to before, but it's helping you. It's like, it's like almost like taking advice that's always been there, but you didn't take it before. Um, uh, it, it's just, you're in such dire straits now. You're in a place where you, you will listen to anything. You'll try it, even though it's uncomfortable. And like I said before, it's like you're getting comfortable with discomfort. And that's the secret to your success and ability to move forward. So I hope you join me for the extended reading. I'm going to continue and sort of articulate and draw out um, um, uh, different um, scenarios for this reading uh, and then also do the romance reading. So Aries, I will see you over there. The link is below.